Hi, this is Gordon Atkinson, Real Life Preacher. I'm in my house. It's gonna make a movie, but lighting is bad, so let's uh, go, go out my front door. See if it uh, looks nice around here. Seems to. Oops, hold on. Door didn't close. I'm now out in my front yard. Which means, you know, the neighbors are going to think I'm out of my mind. Uh, there we go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, anyway, I wanted to um, kind of speak kind of quietly now. It's just, I feel kind of weird in case somebody walks by and sees me. But I wanted to come in and chat with you for a minute. Uh, last week, well, a week before last, I had surgery on my knee. And uh, it went fine. I had to get it done before my insurance runs out. Um, I can get new other insurance now, but they wouldn't fix my knee, so I had to get it fixed. So, and, and something happened um, after the surgery, which I think really, uh, really illustrates just a number of things that are kind of wrong with our culture and the way we consume things. When I came out of surgery, it was at this surgeon's ambulatory center, you know, these places like little hospital things that surgeons build, and then they just kind of run you in and out, and uh, then they don't have to deal with hospital crap, which who can blame them. Uh, so I, they put me in a wheelchair. I mean, I've been, I'm out of it. I'm on Vicodin or something, just kind of barely there. And somebody hands me a pair of crutches. They're, they're brand new in plastic, and uh, here they are. You know, still have them. They're really nice crutches. I mean, look, you can, they have like, you know, where you can like set it for 5.3, 5.4, 5.5, five, 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 you know, and, and just made of this solid aluminum, well, <laughs> hollow aluminum, but just sturdy, you know, good crutches and uh, brand new. And so I unwrapped them and I took them home and then, you know, you know I'm like crutching around on them for, for three days and then I'm done with them. And um, so I, I asked Janine, what are we supposed to do with these crutches? Do we take them back to the whatever? She said, I don't think so. I said, I mean, do we pay for them? She said, I don't know. They, they don't want them back? They can't reuse these? She said, I, I don't think they do. They came in, they were all wrapped up. I think they only give out new crutches. That in, that in itself is pretty bad if you think about it. I mean, why, why, why would we do that? They're perfectly good crutches now. Um, but it gets worse or, or weirder. I was in a local grocery store, H-E-B, which is, uh, that stands for... Howard E. Butt is the famous Butt family. I know. Uh, but they're rich and they have grocery stores and I don't know, we just don't think about it. But yeah, their last name is Butt. So I was in the, the HEB and I saw this exact pair of crutches hanging on a wall. Exact set of set. And, I, and I, so I thought, I wonder how much does those cost? And I went over and looked and they were $23. $23 retail at a grocery store. So how do you make a nice set of crutches like this for $23. I mean, I think we all know the answer to that question is not good. And if that's all it was, that wouldn't be so bad. But I mean, it just kind of, if you start thinking about it, it just gets more and more awful. Because it seems like what's going on is, these guys are saying, we can get crutches for $23, you know, over in China, and who cares what happens to those people. You know, and, and, and well, look, what do I know? Maybe the crutch factory in China is treating its workers really well. Maybe it, maybe it is. Not every factory in China is awful, I assume. But anyway, so, but we can get these crutches for $23. And then, then you know, it's like, we can sell them for like 200 bucks to insurance companies. So if you can get crutches, and you know they're getting them cheaper than 23 bucks. That's what I got them retail. If you can get crutches for like, speaking, oh, my leg has to be stretched out every once in a while. If you can get crutches for 23 bucks or 20 bucks and sell them for 200, why would you bring them back? I mean, why wouldn't you just give a brand new pair to every patient? Apparently, that's what they do. So now, what am I supposed to do with these crutches? Perfectly good set of crutches. What, hang them in my closet, you know, like in case I ever need crutches again, you know? That actually goes against a kind of a part of my new spiritual rule I'm developing for myself, which is... Um, was just not to own things, if at all possible. So I don't want these crutches, and I'm going to... I'll, I'll give them away, so I, I will have to find somewhere to use them. But it, how many thousands and thousands of pairs of crutches do you figure 
are just sitting around in people's garages, you know, paid for by insurance companies, never to be used again. It's just ridiculous. It's stupid. So, anyway, I am going to find out how much they charge my insurance company for these crutches. That promises to be interesting. And then if, uh, if I can figure out what to do with them, I will. My neighbor just pulled up and staring at me like I got two heads. Hi, just making a movie. So anyway, well that's all I had to say. This is this uh, this little movie is I'm putting on on the subscriber section, and for those of you that subscribe, it's still a little iffy. I'm still trying to get it so that your blogs show up in a kind of featured blog thing. I'm waiting on uh, Jethro for that. Um, they're working on it. It's, they got a bunch of stuff to do for me, and so it's kind of down. It's, I don't know. It's in their queue. Uh, and actually, I should say this. I mean, it isn't at certain that they can do it. I mean, they basically said they would do it for me if they can. So we'll see. Uh, but more and more subscribers are giving me their usernames, and I'm getting them signed up and everything. And so I hope you have have done that, and you have access to the little subscriber blog. And I appreciate your support all all these years. And um, I guess that's it. Talk to you later.